Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure storage replica in Windows Server 2022 with Windows Admin Center. Storage replica is Windows Server technology that enables the replication of volumes between servers or clusters for disaster recovery. The objective of storage replica is to ensure disaster recovery without data loss with the possibility of protecting data synchronously between different sites or even data centers. Storage replica supports synchronous and asynchronous replication. Synchronous replication allows the mirroring of the data contained within the chosen volumes without data loss as long as there is a low latency between the replicating nodes. Asynchronous replication, on the other hand, allows us to optimize functionality when we have stretched the clusters, especially if there is a lot of latency on the network. We can deploy storage replica in a stretched cluster, between cluster to cluster, and in server to server configurations. Server to server storage replication allows replication between two standalone servers using storage spaces with shared SaaS storage, SAN and iSCSI attach learns and local drives. It can be managed with Windows Admin Center and Windows PowerShell and requires manual intervention for failover. In this video, we will configure server to server storage replication using Windows Admin Center. We can use server to server storage replication to configure two servers to sync data so that each has an identical copy of the same volume. Let's understand the TSLAB we will use in this video. We have single domain active directory forest named msftwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01. We have two more Windows Server 2022 member servers in our Active Directory domain. This VM is our Windows Server 2022 member server that has been joined to our domain. The FQDN of this server is SRT22-FF01.msftwebcast.com. On this server, we have installed the Windows Admin Center. This is our second member server, SRT22-FF02.msftwebcast.com. Let's begin by installing the storage replica and file server rules on this member server. We will use Windows PowerShell to do so. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command install hyphen Windows feature hyphen name storage replica fs hyphen file server hyphen include management tools. Hit Enter key to execute the same delete to install storage replica and file server role on this member server. Installation has been started successfully. This will take few seconds to complete the installation. Installation is completed. We have to restart this server to finish the installation process. Type command restart hyphen computer and hit Enter key to restart the member server. Go back to SRT22 hyphen FS01 member server. I have already installed the storage replica and file server rules on this member server to save time. Start Windows PowerShell and use the test hyphen SR topology CM delete to determine if you meet all the storage replica requirements. You can use the CM delete in a requirements hyphen only mode for a quick test. For example, to validate the proposed servers that each have a E and F volumes. Let me type command cd slash and hit enter key. Uh, let's clear the screen. Type command mkdir slash c colon slash temp to create a folder named temp on c drive. Hit enter key. Perfect. Let me clear the screen. This is the command which we will use to determine if our servers meet all the storage replica requirements. Taste half an SR topology, half an source computer name SRT22, half an FS01, half an source volume E, half an source log volume F, half an destination computer name SRT22, half an FS02, half an destination volume name E, half an destination log volume F, half an duration 5 minutes, half an result path C colon slash stamp. 
We will use this command to determine if our server meets all the storage replica requirements or not. Let's hit enter key to execute the CM delete. Test completed successfully. The result is stored under the folder C colon slash stamp. Let's open file explorer. Go to C drive and access the temp folder. Open the HTML report file. Out of 20 tests, we have two errors. Click on two errors. We have two errors about RAM. Since I'm using virtual machines in virtual box, the test couldn't detect the RAM size of both servers. Here we can confirm that error is about physical memory requirement test. The actual physical memory available on both server is 0 GB. I have assigned 4 GB of RAM to each member server. So we can skip this error. Remember in physical server or in Hyper-V VM, you won't see this error. So we can skip this error and we can continue with configuration of storage replica. Let me close this. Uh, let me close file explorer as well. Now we are ready to start the configuration of storage replica using Windows Admin Center. We have to launch Windows Admin Center web interface. Already I have created a separate video on how to install Windows Admin Center on Windows Server 2022 and how to use it. I'll provide the link to that video so you can watch that video if you don't know how to install and use Windows Admin Center. Type URL HTTPS colon double slash localhost and hit enter key to access Windows Admin Center web interface. Connect to srt22-fs01.msftwebcast.com server. Scroll down and select storage replica. Since we don't have any existing storage replica, we are seeing status no records found. To create the storage replica partnership, click on new. In the window that opens, we can choose whether to replicate on an on-premises machine or on a new Azure VM. Choose use an existing server or VM option and click next. On this page, complete the fields as required, like entering the names of the source and destination servers and the source and log volumes that will be part of the storage replica partnership. Tap member servers FQDN srt22-fs01.msftwebcast.com It is searching for volumes on that specified computer. We see the message volumes retrieved. Type replication group name. In our example, I am typing replication group name msft-rg01. The volume and log volume are selected automatically. If necessary, you can alter it to fit your needs. Let me show you the existing volumes on our computer. For this example, I have attached 20 GB hard disk to this virtual machine. I have created two volumes on that hard disk with the drive letter E and F. Let me close this. Under destination, type destination servers FQDN, which will be srt22-fs02.msftwebcast.com. Okay, volume retrieved. Let's specify replication group name. To avoid confusion, we are giving the same replication group name as SRT22-FS01. Uh, volumes and log volumes are selected automatically. Uh, click on more options to see the advanced option. Here we can see we have some advanced options which you can configure as per your requirement. At the moment, we are not going to configure it. When ready, click on create to create server-to-server -server storage replication. We can see the notification started creating a replication partnership. Wait for a few seconds. After waiting for around 8 to 10 minutes, finally we have a storage replication partnership. It may take a few minutes for the initial replication depending on the amount of files that are present on the source volume and that need to be synchronized with the destination volume. In our case, we can see the initial block copy status. We need to wait for a few additional seconds. When the initial replication is finished, you will notice that the replication status will have a green check mark with message continuously replicating.
click on storage replication partnership under partnership details click on replicated volume to see the information about server to server replicated volume in our case on source and destination we can see the data volume is a and status is continuously replicating on both source and destination server at the time the partnership was created storage replica is synchronous under replication mode we can confirm that replication mode is synchronous if you want to change the configuration and enable replication in a synchronous mode you can select the replication and click on settings icon click on modify partnership settings Here we have the option to change the replication mode. You can either choose synchronous or asynchronous. We are not going to change anything. I am going to click on close. On SRT twenty two hyphen FS zero one, I am going to open file explorer. Let's put some files and folders for testing purposes. Uh, let's access C drive and let's copy program files x eighty six folder just for the testing. Click on this PC. Access E drive and paste the copied folder here. Uh, here I am just putting just some random data just for the testing purposes. Right now on SRT twenty two hyphen FS zero one we can access the volume and log volume. While replication is active, the destination volume will be unavailable. The moment you stop replication, the volume becomes immediately available and you can check its contents. Let's check that. On SRT twenty two have an FS zero two member server. Let's log into this member server using domain administrator's account. Let's open File Explorer, and we can see we have log volume, but we can't access the volume E. Volume E is there, but not accessible. When you try to access it, you will receive an error message that the device is not ready. Click OK. Let's go back to SRT twenty two half an FS zero one server. Uh, let me minimize the file explorer, and let's select storage replication partnership. Check the source and destination node. Currently, SRT twenty two half an FS zero one is source, and SRT twenty two half an FS zero two is destination. At top, click on switch direction. It will ask for the confirmation. Are you sure you want to switch replication direction? Click on Switch Direction. So now Source will become Destination and Destination will become Source. Wait for the confirmation message. Uh, let's specify a credential for PowerShell Double Hope. Let's specify Domain Administrator's username and password. Click on Continue. So now Source will become Destination and Destination will be Source. Wait for the confirmation message. Click on Notification icon. We get the confirmation message that successfully switch partnership direction. Now again check the source and destination node. Now SRT twenty two half an FS zero two is source and SRT twenty two half an FS zero one is destination. Under status we can see replication suspended. Click on refresh. Under status now we can see it is continuously replicating. So now our source is SRT twenty two half an FS zero two. And SRT twenty two half an FS zero one is destination. Let's try to access the volume on SRT twenty two half an FS zero two server. Go back to SRT twenty two half an FS zero two server, and now as we can see, the volume is accessible. Let's try to access the E volume. We can confirm that program file test folder which we copied on SRT twenty two half an FS zero one. Is present on SRT twenty two hyphen FS zero two. This indicates that our server to server storage replication configuration was successful. We can use storage replica to set up two servers to synchronize data so that each has an identical copy of the same volume. The goal is to implement disaster recovery of our volumes without data loss. If we have low latency, we can use synchronous replication, and we can protect the data in the same building or in the same city. Otherwise, with a synchronous mode, we can replicate in data centers that are even very distant from each other. That's all for this video on how to configure storage replica in Windows Server 2022 with Windows Admin Center. I hope you found this video helpful. 
Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.